Space Jam, A New Legacy Space Jam, A New Legacy is a 2021 American live-action, animated sports comedy film directed by Malcolm D. Lee, serving as a standalone sequel to Space Jam, 1996. It is the first theatrically released film to feature the Looney Tunes characters since Looney Tunes back in action 2003, and is also a combination of live-action, traditional hand-drawn animation, and 3D CGI effects. The film stars basketball player LeBron James as a fictionalized version of himself, along with Don Cheadle, Chris Davis, Sonequa Martin-Green, and Cedric Joe in live-action roles while Jeff Bergman, Eric Bowser, and Zendaya headline the Looney Tunes voice cast. Set in a shared Warner Brothers virtual space multiverse, the film follows James teaming up with the Looney Tunes to win a basketball match against digitized champions to rescue his son from a deceitful artificial intelligence AI. Talks for a Space Jam successor began after the release of the first film, which Joe Pitka would have returned to direct. Spike Brandt and Tony Servone signed on as the animation supervisors, but eventually the deal fell through due to Michael Jordan's refusal to return. Several possible spin-offs focusing on other athletes, including Jeff Gordon, Tiger Woods, and Tony Hack, were also discussed but never came to fruition. After several years of languishing, a LeBron James-led sequel was officially announced in 2014 with filming under Terrence Nance took place from June to September 2019 around Los Angeles. After a few weeks into filming, Nance left the project and Lee was hired to replace him in July 2019. Space Jam, a new legacy premiered in Los Angeles on July 12, 2021, and was released in the United States on July 16 simultaneously in theaters and through HBO Max for a month after its theatrical release. The film has grossed $94 million worldwide and received generally negative reviews from critics, who found it spoiled with product placement by the studio and lacking in the original film's quirky and self-referential humor. Contents. One plot. Two cast. 2.1 Live Action Cast 2.2 Voice Cast 2.3 Warner Brothers References 3 Production 3.1 Development 3.1.1 Resurgence 3.2 Filming 3.3 Animation and Visual Effects 4 Music 5 Marketing 6 Release 7 Reception 7.1 Box Office 7.2 Critical Response 8 Future 9 notes. 10 references. 11 external links. Plot. Basketball player LeBron James wishes for both of his sons, Darius and Dom, to follow O in his footsteps. His attempts with Darius are progressive, but Dom instead dreams of becoming a video game developer. While LeBron starts showing an interest in Dom's arcade basketball game, Dom discovers a glitch after performing a specific move which causes his character to be deleted, much to his chagrin. Later on, LeBron is invited with his family to Warner Brothers Studios Burbank to discuss a movie deal. LeBron dismisses the idea while Dom shows an interest in the studio's software, particularly its state-of-the-art artificial intelligence, AI, algorithm. Dom expresses an interest in a future with Warner Brothers, leading to a blow-up argument with his father when LeBron refuses to let him give up basketball. LG, who has become self-aware and desires more recognition from the world, lures the two to the basement server room and traps them in virtual reality. Taking Dom as his prisoner, he orders LeBron to assemble a basketball team made entirely from fictional characters owned by Warner Brothers to compete against his own team, telling him that he will only be released if he wins, and sends him through the virtual space where he lands in Toon World. Meanwhile, Al G begins to turn Dom against his father by playing on his resentments and helping him develop and upgrade himself in his game, which he secretly intends to use against LeBron. LeBron finds Toon World deserted except for Bugs Bunny, who explains that Al G persuaded the rest of the Looney Tunes to leave their world and explore other realities. Using a spaceship belonging to Marvin the Martian, LeBron and Bugs travel to different worlds based on Warner Brothers properties such as DC Comics, Mad Max, The Matrix, Casablanca, and Game of Thrones to locate and recruit the rest of the Looney Tunes, including Daffy Duck, Lola Bunny, and Porky Pig. Over Bugs' objections, LeBron insists on coaching his new players on the fundamentals of basketball. The Toon Squad meet with LG's team, the Goon Squad, comprised of upgraded avatars of several active professional basketball players with superpowers and led by Dom. 
To further the stakes, LG livestreams the game and abducts countless viewers, including LeBron's family, into the virtual reality while summoning all the LeWarner Brothers characters to watch the game. LG says that if the Toon Squad loses, the viewers will remain there for eternity and the Looney Tunes will be deleted permanently. The Goon Squad easily dominate the first half of the game, using their powers to score extra points. During the break, Sylvester attempts to recruit former Toon Squad member Michael Jordan, but accidentally locates Michael B. Jordan instead. LeBron realizes his mistake and allows Bugs to devise this strategy for the second half using their cartoon physics to catch up with the Goon Squad. LeBron confronts Dom and tells him he no longer wants to stand in the way of his dream, earning his forgiveness and trust as Dom abandons the Goon Squad. LG assumes control of the Goon Squad and uses his own abilities to make them seemingly unbeatable. Dom realizes the only way to win the game is to use the glitch move, even though whoever does so will be deleted. During the final seconds of the game, Bugs sacrifices himself by performing the move, and enables Dom to help LeBron score the final point winning the game and literally posterizing LG, deleting him and the Goon Squad. The James family and the abducted citizens are returned to the real world, while in Toon World Bugs bids farewell to his friends before he disappears. In the real world, LeBron comes to see his family in a different light and supports Dom's decision to become a video game designer. After dropping him off at E3 Game Design Camp, he is approached by Bugs, who actually survived due to the fact that as a fictional character, he can't really die. He asks LeBron to put him up for a little while until he can find a way back to Toon World and asks if he can invite the rest of the Looney Tunes over as well. Cast. Live action cast. LeBron James. Stephen Cancole is a young LeBron, 13 years. Don Cheadle is Algae Rhythm, a deceptive computer AI whose name is a pun on algorithm. Cedric Joe is Dominic Dom, James, LeBron's younger son who is a fictionalized version of Bryce James and the one who created the Goon Squad avatars for LG Rhythm. Sonequa Martin Green is Kamaya James, LeBron's wife who is a fictionalized version of Savannah James. Jalen Hall is young Malik, 13 years. Sire J. Wright is Darius James, LeBron's oldest son who is a fictionalized version of LeBron, Bronny, James Jr. Harper Lee Alexander as Zosha James, LeBron's daughter who is a fictionalized version of Zuri James. Additionally, Ernie Johnson Jr. and Lil Rel Howery appear as themselves working as the game announcers. Zosha Roke Moore appears as Shanice James. LeBron's mother in a fictionalized version of Gloria Marie James, Wood Harris appears as Coach C, LeBron's childhood coach, Sarah Silverman and Steven Yoon cameo as Warner Brothers executives, and Slink Johnson cameos as a Warner Brothers security guard. Basketball players Sue Bird, Draymond Green, and Aja Wilson also cameo as themselves. While Michael Jordan does not appear in the film, he does make a photographic cameo on the original Space Jam's poster shown in LG. Rhythm's Warner 3000 pitch. He is also mentioned and teased to appear in the scene featuring actor Michael B. Jordan's cameo. Don Cheadle teased this gag prior to the film's release, stating, Michael Jordan is in the movie, but not in the way that you would expect it. Bill Murray, who appeared in the original film, makes a photographic cameo playing golf alongside Bugs Bunny in the credits. Voice cast. Jeff Bergman as Bugs Bunny, Sylvester, Yosemite Sam, Fred Flintstone, and Yogi Bear. Eric Bowser as Daffy Duck, Porky Pig, Fog, Horn Leghorn, Elmer Fudd and Marvin the Martian. Zendaya as Lola Bunny. Bob Bergen as Tweety. Candy Milo as Granny. Gabriel Iglesias as Speedy Gonzalez. Fred Taisori. Tasmanian Devil. Jim Cummings as the Tasmanian Devil. Some recordings, uncredited. Paul Julian, archive recordings, as the Roadrunner, uncredited. Anthony Davis. Harpy. Davis also appears as himself in a live-action cameo. Damian Lillard. Robotic. Lillard also appears as himself in a live-action cameo. Clay Thompson. Splash Brothers. Stephen Curry. Thompson also appears as himself in a live-action cameo. Neka Aguamika. Spider. Aguamika also appears as herself in a live-action cameo. Diana Taurasi. Naga. Taurasi also appears as herself in a live-action cameo. Rosario Dawson as Wonder Woman, a DC Comics superhero. Justin Roiland as Rick Sanchez and Morty Smith, the titular protagonists of the Rick and Morty franchise.
Additionally, other non-speaking Looney Tunes characters, including Wile E. Coyote, Gossamer, K-9, Charlie Dog, The Three Bears, The Crusher, Witch Hazel, Sam Sheepdog, Rocky and Muggsy, Playboy Penguin, and Nasty Canasto also appear. The antagonists of the first film, The Nerd Lux, cameo as spectators during the game via archive animation. LeBron James had confirmed prior to the film's release that their Monstars forms would not feature as a new legacy would be a standalone sequel rather than a direct sequel. Warner Brothers References As the setting of the bulk of the film takes place within the Warner Brothers. Serververse The film incorporates numerous references to other properties owned by Warner Brothers. Major properties directly named include Harry Potter, Game of Thrones, Mad Max, The Matrix, Casablanca. The Wizard of Oz, King Kong, The Iron Giant, Riddick and Morty, Austin Powers, Mortal Kombat and the DC Universe both live-action television and film, comics, and animated works. Within the crowd scenes for the game between the Toon Squad and the Goon Squad include numerous other cameos from Warner Brothers properties, including but not limited to Pennywise from it. The Drugs from A Clockwork Orange, The Nun from The Devils, Stripe and some of his fellow gremlins from Gremlins, Beetlejuice, Robocop, despite being an MGM property, Yogi Bear, Boo Boo Bear, Dick Dastardly, Muddley, and Penelope Pitstop from Wacky Races, The Flintstones, The Rubbles, A Brontosaurus, and The Great Gazoo from The Flintstones, Top Cat, Scooby-Doo, Shaggy Rogers, Fred Jones. Daphne Blake and Velma Dinkley from Scooby-Doo, The Jetsons, Jabberjaw, McGill of Gorilla, Captain Caveman, Egoo, Gloop and Gleep from The Herculoids, Frankenstein Jr. and Buzz Conroy, Space Ghost, Might Tor, Yakko, Wacko, and Dot from Animaniacs, Tony Soprano, Gandalf, Frodo Baggins, and Gollum from The Lord of the Rings, King Kong, The Iron Giant, lion -O and Chitara from Thundercats. Mama Fertelli from The Goonies, Baby Jane Hudson from Whatever Happened to Baby Jane, Jim West from Wild Wild West, Batman, Robin, Joker, Penguin, Catwoman, and several goons from the 1960s Batman TV series, Joker and his goons from Batman, Penguin and Catwoman from Batman Returns. Mr. Freeze from Batman and Robin, General Zod, Ursa, and Non from both the 1978 Superman film and its sequel Superman 2, Migo, Michi, and Guanji from Smallfoot, Robin Hood from The Adventures of Robin Hood, and The Mask. Production. Development. A sequel to Space Jam was planned as early as 1996, shortly after the original film was released in theaters worldwide. As development began, Space Jam 2 was going to involve a new basketball competition between Michael Jordan and the Looney Tunes and Berserko, a new alien villain who was planned to be voiced by Mel Brooks. Artist Bob Camp was tasked with designing Berserko and his henchmen. Joe Pitka would have returned to direct and Spike Brandt and Tony Servone signed on as the animation supervisors. However, Michael Jordan did not agree to star in the sequel. According to Camp, a producer lied to the studio by claiming that Jordan had signed on in order to keep development going. Without Jordan involved with the project, Warner Brothers was not interested and cancelled plans for Space Jam 2. The potential sequel re-entered development as Spy Jam and was to star Jackie Chan in a different script. The studio was also planning a film titled Race Jam which would have starred Jeff Gordon. Additionally, Pitka revealed that following the first film's success, he had been pitched a story for a sequel that would have starred professional golfer Tiger Woods with Jordan in a smaller role. Pitt explained how the idea came from an out-of-studio script conference with people who worked on the original film allegedly involved. Producer Ivan Reitman was reportedly in favor of a film which would again star Jordan. The follow-up films were ultimately cancelled in favor of Looney Tunes back in action 2003. A film titled Skate Jam was in early development with Tony Hawk in the starring role. Plans were underway for production to begin immediately following the release of Looney Tunes back in action, but were cancelled due to the poor financial performance of said film despite improved critical reception to Space Jam. The movie was promoted with the third Teen Titans Go! movie, titled Teen Titans Go! See Space Jam, which aired on Cartoon Network on June 20, 2021. Resurgence In February 2014, Warner Brothers officially announced development of a sequel that would star LeBron James. Charlie Ebersahal was set to produce while Willie Ebersahal wrote the script. That same month, James was quoted as saying, I've always loved Space Jam. It was one of my favorite movies growing up. If I have the opportunity, it will be great.
In July 2015, James and his film studio, Spring Hill Entertainment signed a deal with Warner Brothers for television, film and digital content after receiving positive reviews for his role in Trainwreck. By 2016, Justin Lin signed on to the project as director and co-screenwriter with Andrew Dodge and Alfredo Bateo. Professional player Kobe Bryant also expressed an interest in directing the film, though he was uninterested in a cameo appearance. By August 2018, Lynn left the project, and Terrence Nance was hired to direct the film. In September 2018, Ryan Coogler was announced as a producer for the film. Spring Hill Entertainment released a promotional teaser image officially announcing the film, with production set to begin in 2019 during the NBA offseason. Filming was to take place in California within a 30-mile radius of Los Angeles. By April 2019, Coogler and Sevahanian were rewriting the script. Final screenplay credit would ultimately go to Jewel Taylor, Tony Renmeyer, Keenan Kugler, Terrence Nance, Jesse Gordon, and Celeste Ballard. Prior to production, the film received $21.8 million in tax credits as a result of a new tax incentive program from the state. Filming. Principal photography began on June 25, 2019. On July 16, 2019, it was announced Nance was leaving the project because he and the studio producers had different takes on the creative vision for Space Jam 2, and that Malcolm D. Lee would serve as his replacement. Bradford Young, who was set to serve as cinematographer, also left the project and was replaced by Salvatore Titino. Among locations used for filming included the Sheets Goldstein residence owned by James Goldstein, including turning its tennis court temporarily into a basketball court for the shooting production wrapped on September 16, 2019. The production spent a total of $194.7 million filming in California, receiving $21.8 million in tax rebates from the state. James held a farewell meeting talking about how he idolized with the first Space Jam film when he was a kid in Akron, Ohio, when the production rep, which was later leaked on August 16, 2020, along with pictures of James with his number six tune squad outfit. A scene filmed under Nance's direction in June 2019 involving Pepe Le Pew attempting to flirt with a bartender portrayed by Grace Santo, only to be rebuffed, was deleted. This decision was later met with backlash among many fans, who accused the studio of double standards by removing the character while allowing a cameo of Alex and his droogs. A gang that commits severe violence and sexual assaults in the 1971 film A Clockwork Orange to be retained. The film's trailer revealed that Elmer Fudd and Yosemite Sam will be allowed to appear with their trademark guns in the film, since HBO Max's Looney Tunes cartoons. A ban had been enacted to not depict fire weapons due to all of the mass shootings and gun violence in the United States. In March 2020, photos taken on set and a brief recording of the rap party were leaked online, revealing that the film will feature characters from other Warner-owned properties. In May 2020, James officially revealed the title and logo of the film, as Space Jam, A New Legacy. Don Cheadle stated that LeBron had an injury he suffered during production, while the filmmakers had a rigorous schedule and shot 14 hours a day. Animation and Visual Effects Lucasfilm's Visual Effects Division Industrial Light and Magic was hired to create the visual effects for Space Jam, A New Legacy. This is the second collaboration with the Looney Tunes and using ILM for visual effects since Who Framed Roger Rabbit 1988. In January 2020, veteran Walt Disney Animation Studios animator Tony Bancroft was hired at Warner Animation Group to work on the film. In March 2020, James announced that work on the film's animation had commenced, while also revealing that the production had largely been unaffected by the COVID-19 pandemic as most of the remaining work involves animation. That same month, a Warner Brothers animation veteran Spike Brandt was named as director of animation. In July 2020, Dan Haskett, who has worked on the Looney Tunes since 1979, was hired to work in the animation department as well. Matt Williams, who has not worked with Warner Brothers since Looney Tunes back in action, started doing animation for the film in August of the same year. In May 2020, Ole Loken, who worked extensively on animation hit Klaus, announced that he will serve as an animator on the film. By October, Loken shared the design for Lola Bunny and Daffy Duck online, revealing that a new legacy will stay true to previous designs of the Looney Tunes characters. Despite this, Lola's final design was adjusted to be less sexualized than the first film. 
the film includes both traditional and CG animation, making it the first film from Warner Animation Group to incorporate the former. Music In January 2020, Hans Zimmer was announced as the composer for the film. By April of the same year, Chris Bowers was announced to be working with Zimmer as co-composers. However, in January 2021, it was officially confirmed that Bowers would receive sole credit. The soundtrack was released on July 9, 2021, and labeled by Republic Records and Water Tower Music. Space Jam, a new legacy, original motion picture soundtrack track listing. No title performer S length. 1. We win. Lil Baby. Kirk Franklin. 315. 2. Control the world. 24 K G O L D N. Lil Wayne. 216. 3. See me fly. Chance the Rapper. John Legend. Simba. 223. 4. Hoops. Sawidi. Salt and Peppa. Cash Doll. 242. 5. Pump up the jam. Lil Uzi Vert 215. 6. Just for me. Saint J H N. SZA. 337. 7. Crowd Go Crazy. John Legend. 3 o'clock. 8. Mercy. Jonas Brothers. 301. 9. Game Time. Lil Tekka. Amine. 311. 10. About That Time. Dame Dalla. g Easy. P. Low. White Dave. 311. 11. MVP. Brockhampton. 251. 12. Settle the Score. Corday. Duckworth. 229. 13. Go and Looney. Big Freedia. 340. 14. Shoot My Shot. Joiner Lucas. 322. 15. My Guy. Leon Bridges. 320. 16. The Best. Anthony Ramos. 301. Marketing. The marketing campaign from Warner Brothers for Space Jam, a new legacy began on July 31, 2020, when a hat with the film's logo became available on the studio's shop website. That August, it was announced that Moose Toys made a deal with Warner Brothers to make merchandise for the film along with the 2021 live-action, animated Tom and Jerry hybrid film. On April 3, 2021, the first trailer was released, which revealed a number of references and characters who made cameos from franchises owned by Warner Brothers. Jordan Hoffman from Vanity Fair compared the trailer to Disney's Tron franchise and fellow Warner Brothers film Ready Player One 2018. That same month, Hasbro also made a deal with Warner Brothers to make two Space Jam, a new legacy versions of their board game properties Monopoly and Connect 4. That May, Warner Brothers partnered with over 200 brands worldwide to promote Space Jam, a new legacy. Other promotional partners included Kraft Heinz, General Mills, Funko, Hallmark Cards, GameStop, Mattel, and Spalding. On June 9, Nike and Converse revealed their tie-in merchandise for the film, which included numerous footwear and sportswear. The film is also set to debut the new LeBron 19 shoes. The following day, Warner Brothers released another trailer for the film took the same effect as the first one. In addition to showing more focus on the goon squad composed of avatars of various famous NBA players such as Clay Thompson, Anthony Davis, Damian Lillard, Diana Taurasi, Neka Aguamika, and Zendaya as Lola Bunny. Brianna Ziegler of Paste remarked the film looks like it might be fun in a turn-your-brain-off-and-enter-the-void sort of way. On June 29, DC Comics released a graphic novel adaption of the film. A tie-in video game, with ideas designed by Ricky of the United States and Narayan of India and developed by Digital Eclipse, was released on July 1, exclusively on the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate Perks program. That same month, McDonald's launched its limited-time campaign in the participating restaurants by including 12 toys free with the purchase of a Happy Meal. While Warner Brothers collaborated Nifties to release a collection of 91,000 limited edition NFTs featuring characters from the movie including Bugs Bunny, Tweety Porky Pig and LeBron James. A large amount of NFTs are planned to be released to balance rarity with broad accessibility, driving engagement around the film for as many Space Jam fans as possible. Television advertisements of Space Jam, a new legacy began airing on April 3rd, with the film's overall spending of $15.2 million. Bot ads of the film can be seen through NBA on ABC and TNT, Cartoon Network, America's Got Talent on NBC, and SpongeBob SquarePants and the Loud House of Nickelodeon. Release Space Jam, a new legacy was theatrically released by Warner Brothers.
pictures in the United States on July 16, 2021. It was also simultaneously released on HBO Max, available for subscribers of the ad-free plan to view at no extra cost for one month. The film premiered in Los Angeles on July 12, 2021. In September 2020, Spring Hill Company signed a four-year contract with Universal Pictures, making this their fourth and final independent production. Samba TV reported that 2.1 million U.S. households streamed the film in its opening weekend, one of the best totals for its A.B. Warner Brothers HBO Max day and date release with Cleveland being the most watched city. Reception Box Office as of July 25, 2021, Space Jam, A New Legacy has grossed $51.4 million in the United States and Canada, and $42.6 million in other territories for a worldwide total of $94 million. In the United States and Canada, the film was released alongside Escape Room, Tournament of Champions, and was initially projected to gross around $20 million from 3,965 theaters in its opening weekend. However, after making $13.1 million on its first day, estimates were raised to $32 million. It went on to debut to $31.1 million, the best opening weekend for a family film and the second highest for a Warner Brothers film of the COVID-19 pandemic behind Godzilla vs. Kong, $31.6 million and besting the original $27.5 million without inflation. The film attracted a diverse audience, with African Americans making up 36%, Caucasian 32%, Latino 23%, and Asian 9%, with a total of 48% being under the age of 17. The film fell 69% to $9.6 million in its sophomore frame, finishing fourth. The steep decline was blamed in part on the film's simultaneous digital release on HBO Max. Critical Response on review aggregator our website Rotten Tomatoes, the film holds an approval rating of 28% based on 191 reviews with an average rating of 4.610. The website's critical consensus reads, despite LeBron James's best efforts to make a winning team out of the Toon Squad, Space Jam, a new legacy trades the zany meta-humor of its predecessor for a shameless and tired exercise in IP-driven branding. According to Metacritic, which assigned a weighted average score of 37 out of 100 based on 43 critics, the film received generally unfavorable reviews. Audiences polled by CinemaScore gave the film an average grade of A on an A-plus to F scale, the same as the first film, while PostTrack reported 78% of those gave it a positive score, with 58% saying they would definitely recommend it. Giving it a C, the AV Club's Double A Doubt stated the film's comprehensiveness did nothing, although it made misdirections which was subject to glittering CGI trash heap of cameos, pet life lessons, and stale internet catchphrases. Writing for the South China Morning Post, James Marsh gave the film one out of five stars and criticized its use of product placement, which he felt neglected both supporters of the NBA and Looney Tunes. Calling it a supposed family comedy, woefully devoid of laughs, Marsh concluded that it fell just short of asking audiences point-blank to subscribe to HBO Max, and was ultimately a vacuous and cynical experience that shoots far wide of the mark. In her 2.5 out of 5 star review, Wen Lei Ma of News.com.au criticized the film for overtly promoting Warner Brothers. IPs, saying, it's a shame that the cross-promotion was so nauseating and over-the-top because otherwise Space Jam, a new legacy has a lot of value. It's more entertaining and better paced than the original. The character designs for the opposing team are impressive and it's even used the Looney Tunes characters in a way that stays true to their legacy while also introducing them to a new generation of kids. Alonzo Durald of The Rap said that the film barely has jukes for the Looney Tunes, let alone the entire Warner Brothers cast of characters, and wrote viewers who, for whatever reason, love the first Space Jam may well find themselves delighted all over again, but as a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to plunge a beloved sports figure into a century's worth of pop culture iconography, a new legacy is a big fat airball. Higgin Osborne of Film Inc. was more positive about the film, writing, What is most thrilling about a new legacy is the liveliness of the worlds created, with each destination carrying with it a varying style of animation that brings with it added freshness. Amy Nicholson of Variety said, Space Jam, a new legacy is chaotic. Rainbow sprinkle-colored nonsense that, unlike the original, manages to hold together as a movie. Kristen Page Kirby, writing for The Washington Post, gave the film a score of two stars out of four.
saying, there's no real reason for this sequel tribute to the original 1996 film to exist, but now that it does, there's no reason to wish that it didn't. And added that the film has just enough momentum, heart and spirit, even as it does both way too much and not quite enough. If this is corporate synergy fired up to a terrifying new level, there's still enough heart at the movie's center to keep it from becoming all business. Corey Coleman and Martin Thomas of Double Toasted, the former of whom worked as an animator on the original Space Jam, both gave it a positive review. While they admitted that the film felt like an advertisement for HBO Max, they praised the creative use of the characters and the acting, though they took ire with some of the outdated references. Future after the release of the film, a third Space Jam was in the talks by director Malcolm D. Lee with Dwayne Johnson involved as the lead, transitioning on the sports genre from basketball to professional wrestling. Notes Kara Terrence Nance, the original director of the film, left during production because of creative differences, with Malcolm D. Lee taking his place. Carrot Nance is officially credited twice for story credit, once for writing as a team with Taylor, Ren Meyer, and Kugler, and another for writing solo. Carrot Bradford Young was initially the cinematographer, but exited the project during production. Salvatore Tatina was brought in as a replacement. Carrot Hans Zimmer was initially the composer for the film's score, but due to unknown reasons, Chris Bowers was brought in as a replacement. Carrot Lola Bunny's longtime voice actress Kath Soki, who has voiced her since her debut in the first film, was initially announced to be reprising her role, but it was later announced that Zendaya would be voicing her instead. Like, share, comment, subscribe.